Each belt has a story, it has its own story, I guess you could say. Sure. Um, some more important to me than others. You know, some are my students, which is very important as well, and some are mine. Some are my sister. Some are, you know, um, other 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 team members that kind of came up with me. Some before me. So my father started Makito in 1982. Pretty much he has his black belt in five different martial arts styles. Around this area, for sure, and, and even in the country, he was one of the pioneers doing mixed martial arts before it was the MMA that everybody knows today. I, I kind of came up into, into it. My keto's older than I am. I just I opened up this, this gym here in April of 2009. And it's been it's been flourishing ever since, you know. I am a second degree black belt under Master Brent. I coach the fighters, I manage them, um, I teach classes, and I help run the business. George is our executioner, <laughs> and I mean that in his his technicality. He is flawless when he wants to be. He's fast. He's just an amazing athlete to watch. He's the most entertaining fighter we've ever produced. I kind of just want to step in there again and have uh, some competition, see where I'm at. Kind of gauging myself to see where I could go next. Um, I just treat each fight as it is, just a, another fight and trying to improve. Um, try not to underestimate any fighter because uh, I, I did that one time and I kind of I fell short a little bit, but each fighter you kind of just go in there, do your thing, respect your opponent, but then when it comes down to it, it's my, my tools against yours and see who's the sharper, better fighter. Ultimately, as a fighter, I'm never satisfied. I always want to push and push to see where I can go to. And many years of wrestling, I've constantly wrestled every, every weekend, constantly pushing myself. And it's just like, I gotta find something that keeps, keeps me going. Motivation, momentum. I gotta find something that just helps me keep growing. Um, when I was younger, uh, wrestling as a kid, Makita would be on the other side and always watch over. I'd always look over there and those guys would be over there smacking the pads and I'd be like, I wanna go over there and train. And um, I knew from credentials and, and some coaches that Makito um, had, had good fighters. So I was like, after wrestling, after my collegiate career, I decided to come over here to Makito. Last fight was a TKO. Kind of behind on the cards by points. He was pretty tenacious on the get-go. And um, I was looking to pick some shots. I was kind of still filling out the pace and kind of seeing what mistakes he was making. And I remember my coach in the corner was like, you got 30 seconds, you got to, got to take him down. So immediately I was like, ah, I'm down on the cards. So um, took him down by the cage, then um, picked some smart shots, and then ended up with a TKO, or a uh, verbal submission. You know, he's the champion around here. He's the beast, you know? Nobody's been able to defeat him. Even the one, the one loss that he has on his record against Sean Spath, it was not a defeat, you know? He, he, he was whooping him. Sean quit and you know you quit. So um, whenever you can want to run it back, you cut some weight, you get it on top of it and do it. But other than that, he's not gonna say nothing. He knows what happened. I was there, I was telling him to get up, and that's the only blemish on George's record. George should be 9-0. That should be his, his record. He's undefeated. Nobody has defeated George Billy around here. I don't know, I think, I think my opponent's a pretty good fighter, and I think it'll be good, entertaining. He's coming down from 135, I'm 125 champ. So I mean, it should be a good fight. And um, you know, I plan on being there and I'm plan on being ready. So I always like to entertain and um, should be a good one. That should be it. Yes, that That's is. It. Couldn't breathe. George Billy.
What a great performance coming out in round two. Fantastic. This is a kid who there's a Washington sp sports, excuse me, a Washington Post sports story about him in 2008. A troubled upbringing, had a lot of life challenges. Wrestling was always his like safe place, and he's turned it around.